on your win. Um, talk to me about how you're feeling. You must be pretty excited. Pretty solid st uh, strawweight debut, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm feeling great. And uh, just trying to add to my record, you know? I already set flyweight records. We're trying to set them strawweight records now. Yeah. And just explain to me, I guess, the move that, before we talk about this fight, just kind of the move down and, and what your thought process was there. Uh, I'm tiny. <laughs> I feel like I've been undersized in all my fights. And uh, the weight cut was just super easy. Even this time, uh, I dieted hard for 12 weeks. And I think I cut one pound the day of. So it's still a very easy weight cut. And I just feel like straw weight's home for me. Yeah. And you absolutely you look great in there. Obviously, picking up another submission win. Um, did you feel like, I guess going into most of your fights, you probably have a lot of faith in your abilities on the ground, but was that kind of the way you were expecting things to play out? Oh, 100%. I know that once I get on the floor, there is not a single girl in the UFC that's going to give me trouble. So I knew once I was on top of her that it wouldn't be long till it was game over. Yeah, and do you feel like you're starting to kind of finally earn that respect from people, like that, that you're kind of viewed as one of the best grapplers? I know that the win over Rose and wasn't an MMA, but like I feel like that really made people recognize uh, your abilities. I, I think I'm slowly getting there. Uh, people are starting to recognize that uh, I feel like a lot of people aren't fans of the submission as much, so that's why I try to do a little bit more damage this fight, but I'm, I'm hoping to get some recognition from that. It was kind of an interesting uh, finish there. It seemed like she did tap once, but then it was like three or four seconds, and, and Keith Peterson called it a verbal stoppage. I know you're not the referee, but from your perspective, did you either feel her tap, either you know feel it or, or verbally hear it? I, I'm just there for the ref to pull me off, so I didn't feel like I wasn't paying attention to that at all unnecessarily. I was just thinking about tucking her arm underneath the, my uh, armpit, and I was just going to break it. So it's like, if anything, he saved her. <laughs> it was going that way one way or another. Exactly. Um, where do you go from here? A uh, big win at Strawweight. Um, you trying to stay active this year. Any names you have in mind? Uh, I definitely want someone ranked. I was looking at uh, the rankings today, and uh, it actually happens to be in her corner. Uh, Baby Shark was uh, ranked number 15. I'd love that matchup, and I'd love to have that before the end of the year. Jillian, uh, are you trying to fight in Canada? I would love to. It's just, uh, it's, it's definitely close for me. I'm like, I wish either they put me on the Miami card last week because I'm living in Miami or if they save me for the Canada card. But it's just with the 115 cut, I don't know uh, if it, that's necessarily uh, realistic at the time. I would love to, though. Gotcha. Awesome. Thank you. And one more for me. What do you like about the Tabitha fight? Is it, is it just like you feel like that's the in the rankings, so to speak, like the next right step up to get you where you're going? Oh, yeah, I just want someone ranked. Really, anybody top 15 I'd be happy with. That was just the... Well, I was honestly looking at a couple different names, but a lot of girls are matched up already. She just fought last month, so I know that she's probably going to be looking for a fight soon, so it seems like an ideal matchup. Real quick, just sorry, one more. Uh, we watched your, uh, your, your win over Rose number Eunice in, in grappling. Do you like those kind of events, or would you want to do some more of those against you know, other MMA fighters? 100%. I love grappling. Obviously, I love jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu is my thing. So, and it's, almost, it's a lot less pressure when you're not getting punched in the face. So it's just uh, something fun to do, if anything else. And that, and that win compared to your UFC wins, like, which one would you think like, you hold closer to yourself? Nothing can compare to a UFC win, especially in front of a crowd. I'm like, this is the first, second time since the beginning of COVID that I fought in front of a crowd. So to be able to have that huge crowd there, everybody cheering for you, seeing your face on the big screen, it, it, nothing can compare to that feeling. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you again. Awesome.